You will create a data model for a book order of the My Favorite Book Express company. To open the new model, click on Data Model. The data model represents data structures on a general level. It shows how data used in the business process are interrelated. First, you place the Entity Attributes fragment provided by the Fragments pane. You will then assign the name Book to the Entity object, which is the Information Unit. You know that a book is identified by the primary key ISBN, which is short for International Standard Book Number, and by the title and price attributes. You therefore name the objects accordingly and delete the attribute object that is not required. You place the Entity Attributes fragment a second time to model the order data. The order that has been created is defined by the primary key order number, the foreign keys customer ID and ISBN, and by the order date attribute. You therefore select the two attributes in the middle and turn them into foreign keys. You must redraw their connections because existing connections are automatically deleted. Assign names to the attributes of the order. Now you can create the connection between the book and order objects. Next you specify the connection's cardinality. That is, you specify how many of the two data elements may occur in the relationship. A book can occur in one order, in multiple orders, or occurs in no order at all. For the connection end at the book, select the source cardinality N. An order must include at least one book. There is no upper limit. For the connection end at the order, select the target cardinality CN. You now close the dialog. As you can see, Ars Express has modified the connection ends to graphically represent the cardinalities. A few notes on Ars method. The object types primary key, foreign key and attribute define objects of the entity type in more detail. In our case, the order entity. Although there is only one object type that is called attribute, the primary and foreign keys are also attributes of the order object as they help identify objects. So the primary key object type serves to uniquely identify an object. In contrast, the foreign key object type refers to the primary key of another data object. Thus, it establishes a connection to another object. An order must always include a reference to both the ordered goods on the one hand and the customer who wants to purchase these goods on the other hand. Finally, the attribute object type is used to indicate a property of the data type. The model is now complete and you can save it as my favorite Book Express data model. You have modeled data structures and their relationships for the order process of the My Favorite Book Express company. The model describes the relations between the data elements. This ensures, for example, that during database development maximum transparency is provided regarding the given interrelations between existing data.